All right, so my confidence level, yeah, it's through the roof right now. Yes. Okay, well, it's not through the roof, but I've gotten a lot better and I've gotten a little bit more comfortable with my five inch quad. So I thought it might be a good time to just go through my build and let you guys know exactly what I'm flying for my first drone. Now, since it was my first drone, I kind of went with just what was recommended. The core of my system, it's the DJI FPV system. So that means it's using the air unit and the camera, and that's going to send the image and then the control back and forth to the DJI goggles and the DJI transmitter. So that's the core of my system. And luckily on their website, and I'll put a link below, they just have a recommended build. So that made it a lot easier and I didn't have to do as much research and I could just build my first drone because I've really found that if you just, there's just too much research you have to do to know everything where if they just tell you what works, that's a good place to start and it made it a lot easier just to get into it. So just to go over a little bit about the different parts that DJI recommends. I'm flying the, the Transtech HD frame. It's a pretty good frame. I like it because it's compact. Everything fits really nice. The only thing I don't like is that I do tend to break a lot of arms. It's not really a big deal, but I would definitely recommend having replacement parts. I've actually been out on jobs where I've been coming over trees, hit a branch and crashed and broken an arm right in the middle of a shoot. Now, luckily I have my drone and my my motors set up with MR30 connectors. So it's super easy just to disconnect my motors, throw a new arm in, put the motor back on, and I'm flying within five minutes. So it's really made it a lot easier for me having those. And I mean, I've had crashes where I've broken three arms before. So being able to get them swapped out really quick is really a must. And talking about my motors and my props, uh, I do something weird. I fly a low KV 4S system. It's really uncommon, but it can be tuned in beta flight where it, where it flies really well. And the bonus of that is you get a little bit better battery life because the voltage isn't as high with the low KV motors and you get a little bit more torque. I have a pretty heavy drone, it's almost two pounds. So the torque makes a big difference. And then I just had to do a lot of prop tuning, which wasn't a big deal. A bag of props is like three bucks. I really just wanted to get as much air moving through my props as possible without getting prop oscillations. At some point when the pitch got too steep, I actually did start to get a lot of feedback loops in beta flight where the drone would get, it would start to oscillate at the prop level and it would just, the drone went function really well. So I did go through about four or five sets of props to find out exactly what worked the best for me. And then really the only other thing with this build, I mean, I'm not gonna really cover the flight controller and the ESC. It's just the recommended ones. You solder them on, you plug them in, you download beta, beta flight and do some tu tuning. So I won't really cover that. It's just, the, it's just the standard recommended ones. But the other unique feature in my drone, which is pretty cool, and we actually did a video about it, was my 3D printed backpack. So everything above the drone is one solid 3D printed part that I, that I designed and had printed with my buddy Alex, who was in a video that we did not too long ago. But the nice thing about that is it holds three things really well. It holds my batteries without battery straps. There's a place for my GPS to fit without getting ripped off if I'm flying through brush or something like that. And then my uh, beeper is uh, strongly secured and isn't gonna get ripped off as well. So all three of those parts fit really nicely into the backpack. And then out on front, I fly with a GoPro Hero 8. That's the camera I use. Uh, and it's, I'm flying at a 30 degree angle right now. I'm gonna build a second one that's 15 degrees, so I end up, I'm not always flying as fast, but the way it, it, it fits right into the bolt, so switching out backpacks will be super easy. And then just to cover a little bit about my camera, we'll have to do a whole video about camera settings, but when you're flying these FPV drones, it's really important that you're shooting at the right shutter angle so you get the right amount of motion blur on the sides. To do this, uh, GoPros have a fixed aperture, so what you need to do is you need to compensate with ND filters. Now for this, I went with Polar Pro's uh, magnetic ND filters. They're, they, they work great. You cut, they come with an eight, 16, and 32 stop. And I use all three of those depending on cloud cover. And only at like the last little bit of light am I actually able to fly at the right shutter angle without any ND filter at all. So you wanna incorporate ND filters into it. The only advice I probably wanna give you with these Polar Pro ND filters is they are magnetic. They stay on really well. The only time they have ever fallen off for me is like jolts. 
uh, so landing or something like that, they can pop off. Now to remedy this, I put little tabs on there that actually go over the sides of the two corners of it. I rarely ever lose uh, ND filters now, except in like really catastrophic crashes, they'll have a tendency to pop off. Yeah, so that's my build. It's my five inch quad. It's really a great place to start because it really makes you hone your skills because it's fast. Uh, I've had this one stripped down almost 95 miles an hour and uh, it just really hones your skills and then any drone you fly after that is just going to be a little bit slower and a little bit easier. So it's a great quad to start with. It's fun because they're fast and they're uh, super maneuverable and it uh, makes some really cool shots especially when you can cover a lot of ground. So if you have any specific comments or want a little bit more information about what exactly I'm using, just put it in the comments below and I'll check it and I'll be sure to give you more info. I just wanted to cover the basics really quick and kind of let you know what I did, why I did, and it all seems to be working. And the next thing is a Cinewoop, so hopefully we have a build coming up about that.